Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, Ellie here, I, in case you are new, my name is Ellie. Um, I am a, a fresh new gardener and today we are planting some of my um, plants that I haven't been planting yet. I've had for a while that I've got. Um, so some African daisies and um, we'll see if I can get that butterfly bush planted today too. It is super hot today. This whole week will be super hot. Um, I live in Northern California and we are expected to be like in the hundreds for the next week, week and a half. So um, it's kind of early in the morning and I am hoping to get some of the gardening stuff done before it gets too hot. And I can't stand to be out here anymore. So. Um, uh, come join me and we'll see how far we get. Today I am going to kind of plant in this area. Um, I'm gonna try to, I think I might start with my butterfly bush and then, I'm sorry for the noise, people are, it's early in the morning, people are getting their yard work done. Um, and then I wanted to plant these in this area. So the Monrovia uh, Zion Copper Amethyst Osteosperum, um, this beautiful Salvia, um, Lyric Rose Salvia, which is looking nice. And this uh, Serenity Electric Rose African Daisy. So, I plan to get these in there today and then I also want to get my um, butterfly bush in this area as well. So uh, this is where I think it's going to look good in this area. Okay, so I've kind of turned over my soil a bit here um, and that's just because we have such clay hard soil. Um, that I kind of wanted to uh, amend it and add some other types of soil in here to kind of help with drainage. Um, so I dug a hole here for my butterfly bush. I gave it some water um, and it's super root bound, you can see. So it's been in the pot for a while, um, but this is where it will go. We're just going to see which way it looks best. Here, Nico. Yeah. Are you doing a recording? Huh? Are you recording? Yeah. And I think that looks good. I'm going to step back a little bit just to see. Okay, so I have been just kind of mixing up my clay soil with just like a basic general purpose ground soil um, and I just kind of want to get a nice mix so that my roots can spread nicely so I have been kind of adding it throughout this corner here Um. 
around the butterfly blush. And I just absolutely love this like hot pink, um, what is it? Like a fuchsia pink color. And then I just want to get in here with my hands and just pat down the soil just to make sure it, um, there's no like air pocket holes. And then all this area, I had planted some mint like years ago, like maybe 20 years ago. Um, I planted just a little bit of mint and in the 20 year that kind of grew up to where the butterfly bush is um, and where it's at right now. So it had spread quite a bit and those root systems of mint is quite strong and very invasive. Um, so, lesson learned, don't plant it in the ground. You want to plant mint in the pot is best. But I like mint, so I left this area um, with the mint. I might take it out later, but nothing. For now, I'm just going to leave it. I like the way it smells. It smells quite good. don't typically wear gloves. Sometimes I do, depending on what I'm planting. Most of the time, I like to be barefoot and bare hands just because I like to play in the dirt and I like to touch the soil and the grass and the um, nature. So for me, I find it beneficial. You can hear, you know, studies have been done on how wonderful it is. Um, to garden and that's because we use our hands a lot so I'm gonna put this salvia kind of in this area next so I'm just kind of I had already turned over the soil here a bit I have been watering it a lot throughout the week so that the clay dirt isn't so hard um, that stuff can be like hard as a rock and I also find like cement pieces in here or, or like tile rocks all sorts of stuff in this area that have been like very deep so not the best but I like it um yeah, not right now though. You want to help me water the plants? Yes, yeah. Okay, get the hose. Not here. Can you water over there first? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. It's my almost four year old. He's almost four. Luca. that I got from the parent section the other day. It was like half off. It was dying and I kind of brought it back to life a little bit. And I'm trying to keep it back to life. Um, I've 
I've been watering it regularly, but I just haven't had the time to plant it. I've been busy with other stuff, and then we just had um, 4th of July yesterday, so just busy with some other stuff, but doing it today. It was one of my things to cross off today is to really get the salvia in. My salvia will grow about 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches, I I and it's full sun. This one says maturity about 16 to 20 inches. So I want to keep this kind of in the back a bit. Yeah. This is also one of the clearance ones that I had gotten earlier. I think I got it like a month ago, actually. Nope, not yet. I'm not ready yet. Once I'm done planting, then I'll, I'll tell you. Luca. Hey, bud. Why don't you, did you do those yet? Mm-hmm. You gotta do all that corner. Thank you. I can't reach. You can't reach. Let's pull it. Yo, you go in there. Oh, sorry. Okay, I think this might be a good spot. Try to get him, he starts to cry, and all he wants is Isabel. Mm. Okay, I'm almost done. And this is it. So, we planted four plants today, um, and it's time for me to go inside because my kids need me. So, mom life, mama four, what are you gonna do? Um, but I'm hoping this gives that plant a little bit more shade. Um, the honeysuckle um, because it does say that it's supposed to be full sun but again in our climate it's just hard to really believe when they say full sun um, I kind of thought that maybe the bottom was getting a little bit burnt um, I do need to unwrap it and I want to try to um, have it grow out on the fence um, so we'll see how that pans out um, but I also have this guava tree that I might plant here, which I know is going to be in front. But as it grows, um, you'll be able to see the flowers be like behind it um, <clears throat> as the trunk grows more. So it's just a thought for now. Um, I haven't taken it out of that pot just because I'm not sure if I like it in that spot yet or not. But that's what gardening's about. Trial and error and lots of mess right got to clean that up 
Um, but this is my corner that I've been working on for the last few months. Um, I think it's looking great. I love this. Dahlia is really blooming. It's gorgeous. And um, I will be doing my July garden tour soon. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you again for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks.